people from Estonia and not from Estonia, I'm Margie and today we're going to talk about students who study and work at the same time. I'm not alone today, but I have my two amazing guests, Raya and Anne. Thank you very much for being here. Thank, Thank you for inviting us. us. <laughs> and uh, I will start with the very first question. Please introduce yourself. Where are you from? What do you study? And what's your job? Mm -hmm. Do you want to start? Uh, sure. So my name is Anne. I'm from Ukraine and I study audiovisual media in Baltic Film Media Media and Communication School. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically a filmmaking degree. I'm majoring in direction, script writing and producing. And I work in tech support in an IT startup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my name is Raya. I am from Tunisia. I am studying in the School of Humanities in the program of Literature, Visual Culture and Film Studies. It's a master's degree. Um, a very cool degree, actually. It's a very cool degree, yeah. <laughs> We're on the same the one. Same. So, like, <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, I am currently working as a robot operator, That's which so sounds cool. very cool. Yeah. It's We're operating those small robots that you can see in Mostamai that are for delivery nice. with Starship. Yeah. yeah. So how was the whole process of finding a job in Estonia? Like, was it easy or was it difficult? And how did you actually find yours? Um, I, I'd say mine was pretty easy. I was at the point where I really needed the job. So I sent my CV to may maybe 10 different companies. I received about eight answers. Nice. I, I went for, I think, three interviews. And the company where I work right now was the one who invited me the first and I just really enjoyed the people there so i decided to go with it nice mm -hmm. for in my case well um it happened that my flatmate um, got the job first and it's pretty easy job to find in the sense that um, they already promoted for it a lot uh, back at the time and um, it, like, yeah, basically it's the same. I needed a job. Uh, I wanted to help my parents with, uh, with the financial part of my studies. So I just applied and I got in. So it was, it was, that's it. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> How is the life of a student that also work while studying? Like social life, you know, those, those kind of classical questions that when you say that you study and work at the same time, Everybody's like, yeah, but what's about your social life? Can you actually study? Well, in my case, for example, I'm working part time, mm -hmm. which uh, which is basically um, limiting my hours for 25 hours per week. It is manageable. Uh, also, my my work allows me to choose my shifts. In that case, um, I can actually adjust every week yeah. according to what I have. So I can meet friends if I want to or focus on my studies. So it's not that hard. Um, well, recently with the whole Corona situation, everything basically has been hard. Uh, but other than that, it is pretty manageable, I guess, if you do it part time and you get flexibility. Did you, with did you ever uh, work full time? No. That job? Okay. no. So you, um, start, you, you decided from the beginning, I'm yeah, going to work part time. Absolutely. Yes. Even now, for example, I'm on my thesis. I only have like basically one course, one, one day per two weeks. I still want to limit it to uh, part time so I can actually still focus on my study because it's it's the main thing. So. Yeah, sure. So. What about you, Anne? I actually started working uh, full time. It was way before COVID started. So in 2019. It was quite complicated. It was also quite painful. I started working with night shift, so I would have weeks where I had a night shift and I would head right to the school, go through five hours of classes, go home, take a two hour nap, go back to work. It was quite complicated, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> complicated. <laughs> complicated to say the least, <laughs> but uh, it all worked out in the end. Um, when the pandemic started, I was working from home. There weren't a lot, like the social life wasn't happening. So it was quite manageable actually with the classes online as well. But um, I did switch to part-time in the start of my second year. So now I only work on the weekend. So I'd say um, I have a good chance and a way of balancing my work and studies. Uh, with social life, it's a little harder since I cover the weekends. Yeah, okay. And I basically can never go out because I work until 23 p.m. But it pays for my degree and my management is really kind to me. They allow me to change shifts when I need to or take leaves when I have to go to the school or um, participate in exercises. So, so far, so good. 
Yeah, good. I think the most important thing of what you said is also the fact that if you need to change your shift or if you need to change something, then like your management and people working with you are actually uh, okay with that and they are they're helping you. So this is very important one, like for students when they search for jobs. Yeah, absolutely. And what, uh, what would you suggest to a student that wants to find a job here in Estonia, an international student? How can they find uh, jobs? Are there some uh, platforms? There is actually the Work in Estonia website that I'm aware of. Um, I am currently also trying to... It also helps in general to get an idea of the job market mm -hmm. uh, in Estonia for, uh, for internationals because it actually have jobs uh, for internationals who do not speak Estonian. Um, because yeah, most of the jobs actually actually require a certain level of mm -hmm. Estonian or Russian or um, yeah, basically these two. And um, I think the website Work in Estonia already gives uh, an idea about that. There is also some Facebook pages, uh, Facebook groups. Um, there is the Facebook job market also might have some stuff. So I think that like as as long as you keep an eye and mm -hmm. stay updated and look for something. You might actually find uh, either like jobs that don't really require that much of your study skills, or jobs that actually require the skill, uh, like the skills that you study for or something. So I'm still also keeping an eye on that for okay. the future yeah. since graduating is coming. So there are indeed a lot of websites that are helpful for finding a job, but uh, I think the best practice to do is when you see a name of the company on the website that they're looking for employees, it's best to go directly to their website and see the open positions there and maybe even apply through their own kind of like mm -hmm. a fill in form or whatever they have. Um, that creates like a better connection between your application and the person going through them because when you do it through the website, there's like filtration and all sorts of uh, search engines applied to that. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely use Work in Estonia as a great web website to get an idea of how the country works. But there's also a really good amount of startups and um, like very current companies where you can find yourself without actually applying your degree or you know using the skills you have regardless of your education so far. And yeah, knowing Russian and knowing English will get you places. So last but not least, suggestions for future students, international students that are coming to Estonia and they need to find a job in order basically either to stay here or to pay for their studies. What would you suggest them? I would suggest to start as soon as possible. It might seem that in the beginning everything is easy and you can mm -hmm. you know, get by, but it's, it's just best to get it as soon as you can and then um, plan your finances so that you, you can understand how much free time you can actually afford and how much work you have to do to, to get where you want to be. And um, yeah, I would say just yourself, your gut, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, I would say that I agree that um, it might seem that there is like um, a lot of positions, but you actually never know. And one of the things that we've been told uh, on, the, on our interview coming here and probably also other students, if they have interviews to come here, it's going to be the same that you cannot actually count on working to finance so you still have to have certain income before coming here mm -hmm. but so far like for people that i know that have been looking actually looking for for jobs and keeping an open mind and actually um, doing the effort um, of uh, looking for jobs they manage to find a job one way or another and uh, at a certain time but you still cannot have the guarantee for it. So, um, and yeah, if you're coming here to study, then you need to still focus on your studies yeah. somehow uh, and manage in between, so. Yeah, cool. Thank you very much. That was it. Uh, I think that was like very useful also for future students or students that are already uh, studying here, they need to find a job. Uh, of course, for tips and tricks about Tallinn University and Estonia, you can visit our website or our YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next video.